All right, so now the next step. If you're to this video, you have demonstrated you're able to make your brush bot go straight in circles or spin. Now this is where the design and really innovative ideas start to come into play because this is an idea that's been around. What we want to do is transform the brush bot to an art bot. A few simple Google searches, you will find all sorts of different art bots. You'll find different bristles. You'll find some using the red solo cup and popsicle sticks and a different motor, a, a pager motor actually, but this motor will still work. All the ideas are amazing and I would use those as inspiration as well as all the ones that people will begin submitting to the site. But I want to stick with this basic design and not create completely from brand new. But obviously think about how you can reuse these parts. Yes, you can pull things apart again. And I want you to create an art bot. An art bot is simply a bot that doesn't just move, but now it's going to start to add some color or design to the canvas. So taking those found objects that we talked about earlier, can you create artwork? Can you design the next Picasso, which is the driving question of this project? So what are ways to use paint and colored markers, colored pencils, um, chalk, different utensils to create art? Will it be random? Can you create geometric patterns? Can you actually create a face or something of that magnitude? That's what I want you to think about. Here's where the real possibilities come in with this. If you're working with younger children or you're just starting out, obviously a lot of the arts is going to be abstract in terms of can you actually get color on the canvas. But if you're working with older students and you want to start to get into programming, you can start to add breadboards, Arduinos, other little microcontrollers in which you can start to add code and different sensors and switches so that these could actually move, stop, and you know, start to make sense of their environment. That's all more advanced stuff in which it will be coming um, and we'll have those videos posted soon. But for now, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's see if we can take these brush bots and turn them next into the next Picassos. What are you gonna do? I can't wait to find out. Make sure you're taking pictures on your phones and iPads, sharing them with me, documenting your, your videos and, and photos, and let's see what kind of amazing art we can come up with.